The United Nations Refugee Agency says the U.S. must ensure that anyone fleeing violence or persecution can get protection without obstruction. The U.N. High Commissioner for Refugees in a statement said that many of the people on the move in Central America and Mexico today are fleeing, quote, life-threatening violence or persecution. The statement came hours after U.S. President Donald Trump signed an order to limit asylum rights. Trump's proclamation will effectively suspend the granting of asylum to migrants who cross the U.S. border with Mexico illegally for up to 90 days. Meanwhile, civil rights groups say they have filed a federal lawsuit challenging the legality of Trump's newly announced restrictions. Now for more on that, we're joined by Mr. Ian Rintel from the Refugee Action Coalition, joining us live from Sydney. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us. Now, uh, can you tell us how uh, the mechanics work of the people who want to uh, apply for uh, asylum in the U.S., and how has uh, this new Trump order affected it? Well, the, the Trump the Trump order has lifted it entirely. It means that for you know for 90 days, uh, people who do cross the border from Mexico to the United States uh, won't be able to make any kind of uh, you know application for you know for asylum. And, and normally, what would happen is someone would cross the border, they would uh, talk to Im immigration officers, they would make a protection uh, you know application, um, and they would then be able to uh, li live in the United States while that uh, protection application was being considered. I mean, that's in broad sense there's been some other difficulties as you will know and your uh, you know the people who are watching will will know about what Trump's tried to do with separating families on the border to make the whole application for asylum you know more difficult but what his uh, really it's an abuse of his national security powers uh, will actually suspend the, uh, the rights of anyone who uh, crosses the border between Mexico into the United States for the next for the next 90 days. Uh, so basically, can you um, shed more light on the situation of these refugees? Most of them are, uh, quote unquote, fleeing life threatening uh, situations. Does this mean that their lives are in danger if they can't cross the border, if they can't enter the United States? There are people following them, maybe? Uh, well, I don't know if people who are actually following them, uh, but they're certainly they're, they are at risk if they are returned to their home countries, and that's really what uh, you know Trump is saying is that anyone who crosses the border, uh, you know, illegally, according to him, in the next 90 days, anyone who crosses the border who seeks asylum in the next 90 days will be returned to their home countries. They will have no no rights in the in the United States and will be returned to their home countries. So, um, you know, Trump is really uh, undermining everything about the Refugee Convention and the you know international national protocols uh, that uh, apply to uh, people seeking protection and to countries that are signatories to the to the can to allow people to make those applications uh, Trump will be uh, quite uh, consciously and deliberately to returning people to places uh, where they they are in danger it's very clear as the UNHCR has made out that uh, people are fleeing uh, for circumstances where their lives are at risk and they have every right uh, to cross the border between Mexico and the United United States and seek protection from the, from the United States. Now, for, uh, one final question: uh, When Trump says that they need to do this legally, what what is the legal process? Is it actually feasible, or is it simply an obstacle to stop them from entering the U.S. anyways? Yeah, that's that's exactly right. It is it's something that uh, Trump uses all the time. Even though we, we have the same experience in, you know, Australia of uh, counterposing, you know, legal to, you know, supposedly illegal means. But uh, it's clear under the convention and the human rights groups in the United States have made uh, that point. Congress has made the point in the United States. So people who are uh, fleeing asylum should have their protection claims uh, listened to, uh, processed, uh, uh, regardless of how they actually cross, you know, the the, the Mexican border. Or, or any other border for that matter. So when Trump talks about it being, you know, sort of legal mechanisms, then it would it would require people actually having, uh, you know, uh, work visas or other, you know, tourist visas, visitor visas of some kind uh, for them to be able to, uh, you know, lawfully, you know, cross that border. That's, it's just, um, it's just, uh, uh, you know, a, 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 a proposition being put forward by, you know, by Trump to make it clear or to make it seem uh, like, you know, people who are fleeing persecution have, have an alternative. They, they don't. Thank you very much, Mr. Ian Rental from the Refugee Action Coalition, joining us live from Sydney.